Good morning, YouTube. Let's turn that radio down or else we'll get a copyright. Um, we're going for a hike today. We're not going camping. Um, I've uh, originally planned to go to the River Neen, but because of the weather recently, it's been absolutely pouring down. It's going to be too muddy. It's ridiculous. Um, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So uh, I'm going for about a six mile walk from the village of. It's like 10 minutes away, I can't remember what it's called. Stilton? I think it's Stilton. It's a circular walk, um, start and finish at the car, obviously. And I've brought along my little friend today. She's got a seatbelt, but I can't find it. One that clips in, so I've looped it through a harness because safety first. Now, I know she looks terrified, but that's excitement you can see, not fear. Um, she'll start panting in a minute and get a bit carried away. And that's why I didn't bring her on the four and a half mile journey to Dartmoor. Um, she's very happy she's coming out. Right, I'll uh, see you when we get there. It's good to be out when it's not 34 degrees. It's pretty uh, cloudy actually. No sun hat and glasses required today which is good. It's still warm though. Car registered about 18 degrees on the drive-in. Somebody's happy. Oh, I've got my phone. I'm holding my phone the right way around this time. So the footage should be pretty uh, watchable. And we're out in the Cambridgeshire countryside. Parked up at the village of Stilton. And there's a circular walk through some other little villages. Mainly fields. Go around a couple of forests. Uh, and I've brought my... Uh, Brew kit with me today, so I'll be stopping for a coffee. I've got water for the dog as well. That should be a nice walk. Come on then. Something that's really cool about this walk that I'm on is that there's a really old church that's just been fenced off I've just been looking at a sign for planning permission they're asking for it to be uh, planning proposals for a new roof and internal and external repairs yeah. well, hopefully you can see that this is how I find out about all these walls it's got some information about this um, church. If I can find it. Which I can't. Just bear with me. No. no. Forget it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the oldest gravestone. I don't know why you do that. I suppose it gives you an indication of how long it's been here. That's 1717 maybe. Anyway, pretty good interesting stuff. Good job, on him.
We're in Washingley Village, part of the walk canal, and the fields that you can hopefully make out in front of you are all that remains of um, streets and houses of a small village back in the Anglo-Saxon times. I think it was about 1,500 years ago. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. You can make out some sheep and horses in there. Just try and, um, you know, broaden my horizons. I'm not a student of history, but when it's on your doorstep, why wouldn't you read a book or two, guys? It's, it's not difficult, is it? We're gonna have a look, and then come on. to stop for a coffee I think that's nice it's not thirsty though I wouldn't give him a drink shall we try and sit down out the wind somewhere and then we'll have a little chat and a coffee I sat down for a coffee it's very peaceful and quiet not anymore because I'm talking I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I've got nothing fancy but on my last video, I think I identified some of the stuff that I wanted to have. Let's keep doing these videos. And the first thing that I bought was this little phone stand, which I've been using. It's from Joby, or Joby, I don't know how you pronounce it. And it's only about 12 quid. And then the legs fold out, which I can't do one handed. You get the idea. There we go. <clears throat> and you can tilt it forward and backwards and stuff like that, so that's pretty neat. I can also kind of hold it like that with the phone in, which is what I've been doing for my when I'm walking along professional shots. The other thing I wanted, which I didn't get, well I did, was a, a microphone with one of those, I think it's called dead cat covers, to stop the wind sound from getting into your microphone, which on my last video was, was a bit of an issue. Um, when I watched that footage back with headphones on, I could hear what I was saying, but when I watched it back on uh, TV or some speakers or something like that, it was harder to hear, so I don't know. Anyway, I bought a little microphone um, to plug into my phone, and that had one of those covers on, but I couldn't get the thing to work, I don't know why. It was some Chinese make, it was about a tenner, so I've sent that back. Uh, don't know. Anyway, the other thing I've got, I've had this for a few weeks, or actually about a month now, was this bag. 
It was only a tenner. I think it's a great little bag for the money. Um, ten pound if you've got a Go Outdoors discount card. It's got two side pouches for drinks. It's got this bit where I keep the dog's water bowl in. Its main pouch is pretty sizable. It's got one of those back bits. The front pocket has got a load of other pockets in it. Let's just open that up. Little clip so I don't lose my keys. Plenty of space for wallet. It's, it's almost like it's got... I don't know what that is for. It's got zips and all sorts. So for £10 I don't think you can go wrong. My only complaint is that it's supposed to have this tri-flow system where it's got these um, raised pads on the back and that's supposed to let the air through. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> Absolutely useless. My back is very hot and sweaty. But apart from that, for a tenner, I think it's brilliant. So I'm really pleased with that. What do you think, Connie? Or biscuit? That's right. I bought you snacks. Didn't bring myself any snacks, which is stupid. Murder sandwich. Sit. Good girl. Have a gravy bone. You got it? And you can have that one as well. <laughs> Good girl. She loves it out here. So do I. Anyway, coffee's getting cold. Need to figure out a way to digitally insert a map and plot my routes on. Just to show you what we're doing today. This distance is six miles. Started here in the village of Stilton, and we basically followed this route. That's where that church was, that old church. Uh, and then we are currently here, roughly. So, not far to go at all, done most of it already. It's a nice spot to have a little rest. Well, uh -oh. wait there, please. Come here. Can I put you on the lead one handed? Maybe. Yes. And let's avoid the large beef burgers. in the car now with the aircon blasting so we should both cool down. Dog's happy, I'm happy. Uh, burn off a few calories. Big Chinese dinner tonight with a load of lager so one of the main reasons why I do this exercise nonsense to be honest. Give us a like and subscribe and all that nonsense and uh, hopefully you found it useful and if not you just enjoyed the scenery as much as I did. Didn't wait. <laughs>